Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sai, and on my channel, I talk about investing for beginners like myself, as well as a bit of tech and general business ideas. Now, in today's video, as you can tell from the title, it's gonna be yet another video about Tesla, but more importantly, whether Tesla is still a good investment. So while you watch the intro video, why not subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and make it change color so you can help the YouTube algorithm Recommend this video to lots more people. So, Tesla. Just to give you a little background, I bought my very first Tesla stock last year, back in August 2019. And since then, I've slowly added a little bit more of Tesla into my investing portfolio, which has averaged out into a return of just under 380%, which is by far one of the best performing stocks in my portfolio. Now, obviously, I kick myself every day thinking, why did I not put more money back then into Tesla? But hey, everything happens for a reason. And I mean, some of the lucky people that probably invested even earlier than me and probably put a lot more money in than I did, they would have become millionaires from just buying Tesla stock alone because the stock price has actually increased 1,172% since it was first floated in November 2015. Now, the ongoing question with any investor is whether Tesla is actually worth the amount it is valued at currently. And the reason for this question is because at the beginning of 2020, Tesla was valued at $80 billion. But since then, it has soared to have a valuation above $500 billion. And one of the recent reasons for Tesla to jump again was because the company was given news that they are going to be included into the S&P 500 index. Now, to really understand just how insane this valuation is, Let's think of some of the largest car companies globally. So we've got Volkswagen, Toyota, Hyundai, GM, Ford. Now, if we put all of these companies together, Tesla is still worth more than all of them combined. And then when we look at how much all of those car companies have made in profit over the last year, we're looking at about $50 billion, whereas Tesla is on course to make a measly $1 billion of profit this year, which definitely validates why many investors are skeptical about Tesla. But let's take a step back and look at this news about Tesla being included into the S&P 500. And what does this actually mean? Well, the inclusion into the index is not just about the bragging rights of becoming one of the 500 most important companies in America, but there is also a reasonable market reaction that comes with it. So since the news was announced, Tesla's stock has risen about 19%. And on top of that, it's also naturally normal that many more people will be investing into Tesla once they actually become part of the S&P 500. Now, when you look at the companies in the S&P 500, the largest, obviously, is Apple with regards to its market capitalization. Now, Apple actually makes up about 6.5% of the whole index. Now, with Tesla joining the index, it actually will be the largest company ever to be introduced into the index. Now, this is usually because other companies start off being smaller and then actually grow within the index itself. But even then, Tesla will only comprise of just a little bit more than 1% of the whole index when it actually joins on 21st of December. But obviously, the index is 500 of the top companies in America, which means a company is going to have to be relegated in order to accommodate Tesla. And then on top of all of that, all the fund owners are going to have to sell off shares in other companies in order to balance their index funds to represent the inclusion of Tesla. Now this is where Goldman Sachs predicts that there will be about $8 billion worth of shares that index fund owners will be looking to buy in Tesla. Which basically means that any Tesla investor who are looking for a quick exit will find a lot of hungry buyers. But also, at the same time, a lot of people who haven't owned any Tesla will now inadvertently be investing in Tesla whether they like it or not. 
as long as they're buying shares in the S&P 500 index. However, investors like myself, who see further value in Tesla and want to hold on to the shares, it also looks like a great opportunity for people like me too. Because whenever there is an increase in demand, the price will get higher, which means that the shares that I currently own should go up in value a little bit. But not only that, there are many investors, myself included, who regularly invest into the S&P 500 on a monthly basis, which means that every month there will be further demand. Now, arguably, it is a very small percentage, but if we were to compare Tesla to another innovative, disrupting tech company, it would be Apple. And it's quite clear to see that Apple has seen steady increase year after year on a share value, which obviously bodes well for predictions on Tesla's stock. But like I mentioned before in previous videos, I still feel as though Tesla has a lot more potential. They have only just scratched the surface with the progress that they have made up to date, as they have a lot of innovative options in their back pocket, such as Elon Musk has announced that he has plans for an even cheaper model car in order to achieve mass adoption. Now his plans for this at the moment is to create a car at the $25,000 mark, and this is mainly to compete in the Chinese market, where there is already a huge competition base of many other EV companies within the Chinese market. Now if Elon Musk has the ability to get a car designed and built within China, they have a huge opportunity to dominate the Chinese market as well. Then we have their battery technology, which is a few years ahead of any of the competition, and they could one day have the scope to provide batteries for most of the other car makers, meaning that they will end up making a profit of success from other EV car makers. Now they haven't really made much of an impact with their solar side of their business, which potentially has the capability of being just as large and profitable as the EV car division. Then Tesla also is pioneering the way for AI driving technology, which could easily be utilized into direct verticals, such as disrupting the taxi industry, the delivery industry, and they're already in the world of their semi-trucks to disrupt the trucking industry. There's also been rumors of maybe electric planes and boats. Plus, Elon has mentioned many times before that his long-term plan is to make our cars become an appreciating asset that makes money for us while we're not using them, rather than them becoming a depreciating asset that devalues over time. Now that's just a few of the things I came up with on the spot of what Tesla has in their back pocket. But there are lots of other opportunities as well that Tesla has in order to grow the company even further. Now going back to Tesla's valuation, we could compare it to other car companies, but that's not going to be really fair as Tesla has broken the boundaries of your standard perception of a car company and have taken their cars to a whole new digital world, making them more of a tech company than a car company. And up until recently, they were pretty much the only viable electric automotive company. But recently, all the other global car companies have seen the success of Tesla and have decided, or probably, more likely forced to jump onto the bandwagon and create their own electric vehicles. And many of these brands already have a huge loyal customer base, therefore making them automatically a first choice for the new electrical future. But where Tesla has the upper hand is that they have been molding the industry by being the early adopters, therefore giving them the slight edge to be a step ahead of the competition. Now, even though I've mentioned a few great things about Tesla and the potential that they have and being the largest company to ever be included into the S&P 500, it still makes it quite hard to comprehend the ludicrous valuation of the company when compared to other companies in the automotive industry, no matter how much faith you have in Elon Musk or not. But as a disrupting innovative company, that has invested heavily up front to completely rewrite the way the industry is operated gives me a feeling of future greatness. But it's definitely a speculative feeling because there is no specific fact that I can present to you to justify why Tesla should be worth how much they are today. Personally, I've always been interested in Tesla from day one with a Lotus-shaped roadster 
to the time I test drove the Model S the first month it came out in the UK. And in general, following Elon Musk and understanding the drive that he has in order to achieve his ultimate goal of providing an affordable electric car that was feature rich enough to replace the petrol or diesel based cars of the world. And witnessing the breakthrough innovations that Tesla has gone through from a factory manufacturing process to completely redesigning how the battery is built. I for one have the same feeling about Elon Musk that I have when you hear about some of the other previous visionaries like Steve Jobs and Walt Disney. So of course I'll be continuing to buy shares in Tesla until the time comes where I feel they have completely exhausted the ways in which they can innovate any further. But at the end of the day I have no financial background and this is just my own thoughts based on the research that I have done myself. So if you plan to invest in anything I always recommend seeking professional financial advice. But I'm sure many of you will also have your own take on this. So please feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think about Tesla as well and whether you feel it's still a good stock to buy. And if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to the channel and as always why not like the video, comment down below and share with your friends and family. See you in the next video. Bye.